um, what we've had uh, in this seminar today respecting uh, the fear of the law. In the first instance, I want you to appreciate uh, Pastor Peter so much for uh, taking good time to express him. Uh, what we need to be expressed to respect the fear of the Lord in his uh, teaching today. Praise the Lord. Especially the second part of this message uh, really touched me and I love it. I really love that. Uh, that the Lord increase your spiritual uh, strength in Jesus' name. Amen. Um, when we talk of um, the fear of the Lord, as we've had in the second part of his teaching, it's a gift of God. It's a strength of God. When you look at the four pillars of eternal gospel church, all men four pillars. You say it. Written. Fear God. Give glory to Him. The hour of His judgment has come. And worship God. These are the four pillars on which the Tanah goes with church to rest. And then we're talking about the fear of God. I thank God, Pastor Pusha mentioned Acts chapter. Ten. Mentioned it in the book of me, Acts chapter 10, right? Yeah. Spontaneously, the Lord Spirit made me to realize what Apostle Peter and John told the high priest. In Acts chapter 4, verse 17, I suppose. Hopefully, that. That is the price you pay to have the fear of God. You have a price to pay. And if you don't pay that price, you don't have the fear of God. You don't have that gift. And then verse 17. Let me be precise. But Peter, Peter, but Peter and John answered and said to them Peter at Joanna down also we from up whether it is right in the sight of God to listen to you more than to God you judge for what I should I do praise the Lord amen if you want to have the fear of God you bash any the the fear of man will die in you there is what I call divine opportunity cost. That is what you have to give away to get something. In the spiritual realm. And what I really want to summarize upon is this. When the pastor mentioned about Joseph, it made me to understand that portion more. It reminded me quickly. So what did Jesus give away? To get what he got. Before then, she had asked me to go to Galatia. Chapter 5. To show you. What the fear of God is not. And to show you what the fear of God is. That is when you do something. God will not like it. It will go against God. It will disrespect God. It will dishonor God. When you talk of the fear of God, you have had it. What you go is to honor God. Galatians, Galatia, chapter five. 
I want to show us quickly there. The summary of all your parts. Ah, uh, verse 19. Let us say, God continue. He said, Now the works of the flesh are evident. That is, things that are not the fear of God. What and what that work against the will of God. Said, which are adultery. Fornication. Uncleanness. Lewdness. Idolatry. Sorcery. Osho, hatred, irira, contentions, ita, jealousies, ilara, adverts of wrath, ibinu, selfish ambition, aso, dissensions, ishote, heresies, adamo, envy, arakon, murders, epaniyo, drunkenness, imutipara, various, iredi uru, and the like. Of which I tell you beforehand, just as I also told you in time past, that those who practice such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. All these I mention now are the enemies of the fear of God. They disrespect God. They all amount to sin. And what is it that will dishonor God? Killing, cutting, Ebola, following sin. Oh, no, yes, she. We are talking about honor of God. What are the things that honor God? Which must be my portion, your portion. It's not about the fruit of the Spirit. As the answer was really given, when somebody asks, how can one possess the fear of God? And John 3 3 came to mind. I want to be born again. You must have the Holy Spirit. You must be born by the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the child of Jesus Christ. Or oh, if you think that is too much, it's the gift Jesus gave to me and you. Jesus is the fear of God. Jesus, that God gave to me and you as gift. For God so loved the world. And He gave His fear. The fear. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Whosoever believes in Him will not perish. We will have eternal life. When you have the fear of God, you will not perish. You will have eternal life. Now, what to be the quality of the fear of God you must have? Praise the Lord. The same chapter 5 and verse 21. Say, according to the account, I will not perish. It will not be consolidated. Praise the Lord. Amen. In verse 21. That is what is called the love, the fear of God. Or what honors God from time to time. What? Love. Love. Two. Three. Peace. Four. Long sovereign. Five. Kindness. Six. Goodness. Seven, faithfulness. A KJ, a honesty. Tabi, a jolo, eight, gentleness. A KJO, a watutu. Nine, self control. A KSO, a Koranini, a maturity. Tabi, Kasope, Kayoti, Joponita. Against us, there is no law. Who think of Kulu, the Siru, one one It's only spirit that can give you days. And that can make you to fear God. And that is saying, you must be born again. 
The summary of all we have had today, even from what pastor of thoughts today, and the summary you are hearing now, is that we are born again, and be filled with the Holy Spirit. We have prayed. I command the blessedness of that prayer to manifest in your life. And this is where we draw the curtain tonight. God bless you, Jesus. Amen. Amen.